In this lesson, I will explain to you about matplotlib in Python. So matplotlib is the most popular data visualization library in Python. Just like we have discussed NumPy and Pandas, similarly matplotlib is also one of the most popular library for data visualization. Whatever data we will have in this lesson, we will make the graph with the help of that data so it will be very easy to visualize to make an analysis or make some conclusions on the basis of that data or the basis of that graph so it allows us to create figures and plots charts etc right similarly as we did in numpy or pandas that we have to write down import numpy or import pandas same thing you have to write down here import matplotlib.pyplot as plt now what is the meaning of this matplotlib.pyplot so here i have written that matplotlib.pyplot is a collection of command style functions there are so many functions we will use here in matplotlib and each function will add some value to your graph so same thing each pyplot function makes some change to a figure that is creates a figure creates a plotting area in the figure, plots some lines, decorates the plot with labels, etc. Suppose we will write down one, one function. If the color of our graph is blue, you can make it red. You can make it purple or green or whatever you want. So each function will add a value to your graph. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, you have to write down in Jupyter notebook so it means that it is imported now and then you have to write down percent sign or it is also called the modulo operator matplotlib inline here I have written just a basic thing that it is a magic function so what magic function it will perform I will show you right with the help of example suppose this is our data I have made two arrays one is called the days and other is the temp temp is the temperature so the days here I have taken 10 days 1 2 3 4 and you can make it dates if you want and these are the temperature so the first day temperature is 34 degrees second day is 40 and so on if I say this is the simple data only we have 10 10 numbers if we have 1000 numbers or 100 numbers and if I say okay find out the highest temperature of the day so it will take time for sure you will find out but it will take time you have to see each and every number very closely and if I say what is the lowest temperature and again you have to see if I will convert these numbers into a graph then it will be very easy to visualize very easily you can find out which day the temperature was highest and which day the temperature was lowest so for this purpose this is the function or you can say this is the command plt dot plot and in parenthesis you have to write down days comma temperature whatever name you have used here same thing you have to write down here right before going to start I will show you the matplotlib you can write down in Google otherwise this is the help function in Jupyter notebook click here this is the matplotlib when you will click on this matplotlib you will see all the information here are some examples tutorials I will just click on this home and this is the sample plots it's a 2d dimensional plots line plot we will also learn here right you can see histogram paths ellipses bar chart pie chart so you can see all these and we will learn in this chapter of matplotlib so here I am going to convert these two arrays into a graph. What function you have to write down one more time plt.plot and these two parameters you have to write down. Run it then you will see that there is a graph. Now with the help of this graph easily you can find out on day 4th is the highest temperature that is 54 and on day 8th is the lowest temperature. So see with the help of graph it is so easy to visualize the data. Now as I said that each pipe plot function makes some changes. So now we are going to see what kind of changes these functions will do. Here I say 
I need my graph red color in red color. So see this is by default it is blue. So same thing days dot temp and after comma write down color is equal to red. When I will run this function you will see the color of our graph is now red. So each function will add some value to your graph. Again if you will write down on Google you will find out matplotlib.pyplot.plot and see here if you will scroll down you will see these functions here color function marker line style line width we will all learn in this chapter these functions right okay come down then you will see more functions here i will use the line style line width so this is the line style if you want to read more about it click it and then see what type of lines you can have we have a solid line dash line dash dot or dotted line if you will write down dot system will not run because you have to write down dotted and solid so i will show you here right okay now i say the line width see this is the width i say the line i need this line should be the line of the width should be more right it is very thin suppose so i said line width is equal to 4 run it and then you will see see the line width is now 4 4 points so now here i say i need the green color of my lines of my graph so i will write down color is equal to green because this is a string that is why you have to write down in quotation line width is 6 i say okay this time i need maybe 7 make it 7 right and line style dotted this is the solid line i say okay so dotted line i want so run it you will see dotted line and the line width is now seven and the color is green so each function will add value to your graph now here i said red color i need line width is four and line style is dashed i need dash if you will write down only dash system will not run right so there will be error now here is dash so there are different functions here i say dash dot okay i will run dash and dot so see the output is our graph is dash dot dash dot dash dot and you can increase or decrease the width you can change the color here i say i need the color of the graph should be blue, line width should be 3 and line style should be solid. So run it. So see now. Now see this is our graph and we do not know what is on the x-axis, what is on the y-axis. Actually this is the temperature, this is the days. If you want to add, these are called the labels. If you want to add the labels on your chart, yes you can do. For this set labels, plt.x label means for x axis, y label means for y axis. I say for x axis it should be days. So again it's a string, write down in quotation. And for y axis I need temperature. My plot should be red, line width should be 6, line style is solid. You can change if you want, run it and then you will see the labels are also there. Y axis is temperature. This is the days. On x axis, we have days. Now you want to add the, some title here. You say, oh, there should be some title of this graph as well. No problem. We have a title as well. So plt dot title. The title is weather, I said, and rest of the things are same. If you want, make it green. Okay, this time I say I need green and it should be four. Right? And whatever style you want, dashed or solid. Okay, solid is okay. And then run it so you will see the title of our graph is weather the x-axis is days y-axis is temperature and this is the highest temperature this is the lowest temperature so again with the help of matplotlib you can visualize your data easily and each function from the matplotlib.pyplot adds a value to your graph so please practice this Right, change the numbers, change the colors, change the width. And if you want, go to the matplotlib, see different functions. If you have any question, you can ask me. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.